Next, let us understand blanket rate versus departmental rate of overhead absorption. We have done the different methods of absorbing overheads, but these methods when we use, it could be a blanket or a single rate or a departmental rate. A blanket rate or it is also called a single rate. So, it's only one rate you have for the entire organization irrespective of the number of departments you have. Or you have a departmental rate, that is a rate, a separate overhead absorption rate for each department. So it's possible that department 1 will have a different rate, department 2 will have a different rate, department 3 a different rate. Not only that, department 1 may have it on the basis of uh, labor hours, department 2 overhead absorption rate may be on the basis of machine hours and so on and so forth. Okay, so uh, there could be a blanket rate, a departmental rate or overheads may also be absorbed on the basis of activity based costing. This whole concept we will discuss in another module. <coughs> what is a blanket rate? Let's understand simply. I repeat blanket rate is also known as single rate. So don't get confused if you're asked about a single rate it's nothing but the same thing as a blanket rate of absorption. It's extremely simple. You total, you take the total overheads of the entire organization, right? All the manufacturing overheads divided by the activity level to arrive at one uh, one rate. It does not matter how many machines you are operating or how many departments that you are operating. It's called a single or blanket rate, one rate of absorption. Therefore, it is very easy, very simple to calculate, very convenient. It's convenient. However, it may not be very accurate. I think what we'll do is we'll take an example and see what difference it makes and does it really make a difference and how does it affect our decision making. Is it necessary to have departmental rates? Why can we not do with only a blanket rate? Okay. <clears throat> Okay, of course, this, this you already know students, right? The activity level may be in machine hours, labor hours, number of units, whatever. You have done the, uh, done the different methods, whichever method you take. But the idea is that you take the total overheads and divide it by the total activity level, okay? <clears throat> Look at this example. Overheads and machine hours of two departments are given below. Assuming that the overheads are absorbed on the basis of machine hours, the blanket rate of overhead absorption has been computed below. So, overheads is uh, department 1, you have and you have a department 2. So, for department 1, okay, you have 200,000, department 2, you have 400,000, total is 600,000, machine hours were 10 and 5,000 or totally 15,000. Therefore, you have a rate of 40, 40 per hour. Dollars 40 per hour is the blanket rate of overhead absorption. Okay. So, we have computed. Now what? <clears throat> now look at this. We will use the same thing. The same thing, right? So, it is 40 hours. What are they saying? Applying this rate, okay, as computed, calculate the per unit cost of two products. You've got two products, A and B. The details are given below. So, what happens is in product A, you have direct material of 50 per unit. Product B is 40 per unit. Direct labor is 40 per unit for A and B, it is 50 per unit. Then you have the machine hours in department 1 and department 2. For A, it is 5 hours in department 1 and 1 hour in department 2. While for product B, it's 1 hour in department 1 and 5 hours in department 2. Clear? Okay. So now you know how to compute the total cost. I think you know, right? Direct, if you want to find out for A, how much will it be? It will be 50 plus 40, that's the prime cost, 90 plus 5 hours into, how much we said, 40 per hour, 5 into 40 plus 1 into 40 or 6 into 40, 240 is the overheads here, right? Here also it's 40 plus 50, again 90, so it seems to be the same prime cost. And here it is, 1 into 40, 5 into 40, yes or no, I can just take total 6 into 40, 240, yes or no. So would it be like this, students, is it correct? Direct material of A is 50, B is 40. Wages is 40 and 50. You've got prime cost is same for both. Then you come to the overheads. As far as department 1 overheads is concerned for product A, it's 5 into, 5 into, we did 40, 5 into 40, 
5 into 40, 200 and 1 into 40, 40, 240. Here it's 1 into 40 and 5 into 200. Really doesn't make a difference because you have a single thing. I did not have split this. I could have just written. I need not have split because I don't have a departmental rate. Just to show you, I could have just said it is 6 into 40. 240 right so this is the prime cost this is the prime cost do you remember direct is prime cost this is the overheads total cost is 330 it is the same in both it is the same in both so there is the same prime cost you have the same number of machine hours but but the only significance here was they had they had different hours in each department total hours were same but the product A took 5 hours of department 1. They used the resources of department 1 much more than product B did. Product B on the other hand used the resources of department 2 much more than A did. But ultimately if you see the cost using a single rate, a blanket rate of absorption, we got a total production cost of 330. Okay, done. Okay. <clears throat> This is what we did. Now only, only if we compare with the departmental rate do we understand if there is any difference. <clears throat> what is a departmental rate? You must have guessed students an overhead rate is computed for each department or cost center. That is total, uh, total estimated overheads, total activity level for each department. Okay. This they are saying is supposed to be more accurate. But obviously it will be more time consuming because I am going to find out the rate for every department. I am going to find out the rate for every department. I have to split, I have to apportion, I have to ensure that all overheads are allocated department wise and I have to find a separate rate for each department. So this is going to be more time consuming. Is it worth the trouble? Why do I use it? When do I use it? Why would I not stick to only blanket rate? Let's understand with the same example. I am taking the same uh, uh, example and what is the question is, what is the departmental rate of overhead absorption? Departmental, what is the departmental rate of overhead absorption? If department 1 has 200,000, department 2 has 400,000, machine hours 10,000 and 5,000 respectively. You remember we got this as 40. Now we are not bothered about this. This is not required for us. What we want is single. For department 1, I get 20 and for department 2, I get, I get 80. Overheads by machines. Clear? Departmental absorption rate. Again, now applying this. You remember we had a product A and product B. So now I am going to apply a different rate of 20 per hour and 80 per hour. I think already you are beginning to see how it will be different. Yes or no? So you got direct material. The same example student. Same example. 50, 40, 40, 50. 5 hours and 1 hour, 1 hour and 5 hours. Okay, let's look at the costing now. <clears throat> this was same. I'm not going through this again. Now, in, in case of product A, it had 5 hours in department 1. So, 5 hours into 20 and 1 hour into 80. Is that 100 plus 80, 180. Total production cost is 270. What happens in case of product B? In case of product B, it was one hour in department 1. So, it's uh, it's <clears throat> one hour into 20 and the balance five hours into 80. Now, this is much more. 420, totally 420. Total cost is 510. <coughs> Do you understand why this has happened, students? This is because product B spends more time in the department which is more expensive yes or no it uses more of the more expensive department and therefore larger overheads are charged to this particular product okay <clears throat> is it clear prime cost under blanket rate under departmental rate both ways you have the same prime cost. Obviously, there is no difference. But as far as the product A is concerned, blanket rate said overheads was 240, 
this is 180, the total cost was 330 and 270. So here I was under the impression that my cost is 330, it was only 270. There is a difference of 60. Frankly, the, the, the damage is more in product B. I'll tell you why. Now, what happens because of this? What is the implication? 330, 270. I mean, how does it affect me? How does it affect the managers? What is the decisions that could have been affected? Now, if a manager believes that its cost is 330, obviously, it will price its product at 340, 350, 400, something much more than 330. Yes or no. And they may also be under the impression, maybe they can't, they, they see the market rate and maybe, maybe, suppose they put a selling price of only 340 because they feel some of the, some profit element of profit is to be made. They sell it for 350 and they are under the impression, under the impression that they are making a profit of only $10 per product. They don't even find this very attractive. Yes or no. But, but if they thought their cost is only 270, they could have easily sold the product for 300, 310, 320 and they would have made a huge margin. Yes or no? They would have made a huge margin. But by, and by reducing their prices, they would have become far more competitive. Is it possible? If the market rate, if the market rate is around 330, 340 and they sell the product for 320 or 300 and still make profit because their cost is, cost is only 270. Imagine how much more the volumes that they could have captured a larger share of the market. Similarly, what happened in product B? Product B, under blanket rate, I thought the cost is 330 but actually, mind you, the cost is 510. In my ignorance, in my ignorance, suppose in the market these goods are being sold, sold for maybe 400 or 450, yes or no? I was under, suppose, suppose, I'm just saying this is a more expensive, more likely to be a more expensive product, it consumes more expensive resources, yes or no? Because it spends a lot of time in the more expensive department too, yes or no? Suppose this, this uh, selling price in the market is around 450. I think I am making a huge profit on this particular product. Yes or no? I believe I am making a huge profit on this. Very happy with this product. I am ignorant. I do not realize that my cost is actually 510. I am actually underpricing my product at 450. Yes or no? And if I do that, that, then I could be suffering very heavy losses and not be in a position to even locate where I am going wrong. Yes or no? So in this particular thing, I might have been able to reduce prices and improve my competitiveness. Here in product B, there is a huge, huge risk of underpricing, huge risk of underpricing. This is really serious. Here, of course, I may not, I could have improved my market share, increased competitiveness by reducing prices. So obviously I can take better decisions, more informed decisions using a blanket rate of absorption. Are you following students, following the significance, the difference about why we split? Of course, if I have only one product, what difference does it make? Or, or if I make two, three products, but they consume the resources in a similar manner, in the same ratio. Do you understand? If they spend two hours here, they spend 10 hours there. They spend one hour here, they spend five hours there. They spend three hours here, they spend 15 hours there. The ratios are more or less the same. So resources are consumed in the similar manner, then it doesn't really make a difference. But in a contrasting case, in an extreme case like this, of course it makes a difference. I have taken an extreme case so that the, uh, the, the, the you understand, you understand the importance or the significance of the departmental rate. <coughs> So what are the advantages of a departmental rate? Obviously, it helps in better planning, better control, control, more informed decision making. Can I say that? More accurate allocation of cost, particularly when there are number of products using resources in different, different proportions. With more accurate cost, better pricing and other decisions, more informed whether I 
reduce or I don't reduce, I will make more informed decisions. At least I am aware. I don't think the cost is 330 for both. Yes or no, I am now aware of the actual cost depending on the consumption of my resources. And as compared to ABC, it is believed to be a little less complex. I repeat, activity-based costing is something we will discuss later. Okay, <coughs> so these are the advantages of a departmental rate. So when do you use a blanket rate? If departmental rate is always uh, better, would I use a blanket rate? Should I discard it entirely? No, I can use a blanket rate when the operations are simple, when only one product is being made or the products use the resources in a similar manner. It's simple, it's inexpensive. Very accurate results, I don't require, management really does not require, I have five products, they more or less use it in a similar manner, not exactly, but more or less, and I'm not really particular that I need very accurate results, then it's fine. Why would I waste time, yes or no, in finding out a separate rate for each of my departments, followed? In any decision, students, I have to make what is called a cost-benefit analysis. So if I have a varied with different products going through different departments in different ratios, obviously I have to use a departmental rate because otherwise the information that I get is totally wrong. It's not correct. I might make bad decisions, particularly pricing decisions because my information in, on cost is entirely wrong. It may be wrong. But if I have only one or two products and it's not really, uh, not really necessary, the, 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 this breaking up into departmental rate is not really making a difference. Let me not waste time and resources to it. So for every activity, in costing as in anything else in our life students, we normally make a cost-benefit analysis to see what option to be taken, which is the better decision. Clear? Yeah.